welcome to the lecture series on computer science. Uh, as a part of this series, we will be having a course on introduction to artificial intelligence and uh, following the last two modules, in this module we will be doing on problem formulation and search strategy. This is an extension of the last module where we talked about the intelligent agents and now we will give a mathematical representation to it and solve it accordingly. And before we move on to the next topic, we will slightly see the answers to the previous uh, uh, two module questions. The first question was, describe the type of agent used in an autonomous robotic vacuum cleaner. And if you remember the last week uh, intelligent agents, the type of agents, there were five different agents out of which the vacuum agent is model based since the memory of sequences are registered in the model itself. The next question is what type of agent would be most suitable for a personalized e-commerce recommendation system and why is it so? It would be learning agent because it has to learn the personal uh, relationship between individuals and it has to give the model on its own so based on the learning. So, it is actually the learning agent. Third, compare and contrast discrete and continuous environment with example from real world settings. Here there are a few uh, comparisons that are provided in terms of state space, actions, transitions. Transitions, examples, complexity of the planning and mathematical modeling. And we could see, uh, I will take two examples here. One would be if we take the transition from one to the other, one is in discrete environment, it is fixed. Whereas in the continuous environment, it is smooth or there are some changes within the environment that cannot be as discrete or it cannot be defined in particular uh, that point of time. So, it is actually the continuous time. So, the examples here would be the chess for discrete environment and the elevator system. Whereas, in the continuous environment, we already talked about in the last time where it is autonomous driving, also the robotic arm. And the other uh, 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 comparison, we can take a look at it. Now, uh, before we go into module 3, we will just go through a brief outlook of the different type of agents and then get into the problem strategy. So, already we saw agent is that perceives environment through the senses which is from here and acts through the actuators which is right here. So, this we saw already saw and we also noted that there is a percept sequence that is available here. It is not only one particular thing that is coming up, but a sequence of the perception that are available which is responsible for the processing and based on it either one action could be taken or a serious action of could be taken based on the desirable feature. What is desirable? Then we went into the desirability of what is the rationality behind it. And then we divided into five different types of agent. The first one is the simple reflex agents. If you remember, uh, there is only the uh, sensors that perceives uh, the uh, something from the environment and based on the uh, sensors, the, it processes some information and based on the information and that would be typically in the form of if then rules here. And based on this if then rules, there will be actions that is again given to the environment. This is one type of agent. Example we saw is the thermostat. The next is the model based agent where we saw this example as the vacuum cleaner and that was also given as the last week's uh, question. This is the robot uh, cleaner which we saw in the last class. And the third type of agent is the goal based agent where this goal is going to play a, a role in the type of also the modeling as well as the processing. So, based on the goal, the agent would process some action such that it would achieve to the goal. And in this uh, class, we will be doing more detail into this type of agent. So, example we saw in the last class is the drone delivery agent. The fourth type is the utility based agent, where 
not only the goal or the model, but also the utility in the form of how happy I would be in such a state. So, that played a role. Example is the autonomous taxi and the last type of agent is a learning agent where uh, the agent learns by itself through, through some algorithms, typically some machine learning algorithms and based on it, it uh, generates a problem itself. It learns and suggests something. An example we saw last time is the YouTube uh, uh, commentator, YouTube personalized analysis such that it gives the uh, YouTube recommendation next time when you view it. And following that in this module, we will see how to represent a problem such that an agent should solve. So, so far we have seen okay, what is an agent and that agent perceives something from the environment, does some process and it would act to act again to the environment. And in order to put that mathematically, we are going to uh, give some kind of formulation, proper formulation and in fact, almost uh, most of the problems in AI can be put in terms of this type of formulation. The first one here would be the states where it is going to be from S0 to Sn if you just look at this diagram here. So, this is a very simple search tree where we start at this state. A state is something at particular time occupying a some space uh, in computer science terms. So, S0 is a state, S1 is a state s2 up to sn where n is some kind of an integer positive integer and it is a non negative integer. So, assume that there are n number of states. So, any problem we are going to put it in terms of the number of states. I will give you more example of state in the uh, forthcoming slides. The initial state is the or the initial position right here is going to be s0 which is here. The final state is S n and uh, this representation of problem right now we are uh, uh, taking it from the goal based agent where goal plays a role. So, we have the initial state and we have the final state and how to reach from the initial state to the final state is by means of the successor function in some books they call as actions and using actions this action is represented here as an edge. From S0, we do an action here, we get the next state S1, we do another action, we get another state. So, this action is very important from moving from one state to the other. Uh, in Russell and Norvig, we, they call it as transition between the states. And also the fifth uh, metric is the cost. What is the cost available for moving from one state to the other? And this is uh, in the this uh, module and in the next module we will have the cost as 1 and when we go into heuristics we would have uh, the cost associated with that. So, typically we are looking at uh, 5 uh, types of structure to define a problem. Again it would be the state, what is the initial state, final state, successor function and the cost. We will do a few examples from here. In the first example, what we are going to do is I will take 3 or 4 examples and for all the examples we will define what are the state, what is the initial state, final state, actions, goal and the cost. Cost typically it is going to be one for a few of the examples. Uh, this example is a 8 puzzle. It is a tile where there are 8 integers which is uh, from 1 to 8. Okay. You might have played it when you are young. Uh, how we would do is say we have the integers as 1, 3, 4, 2. This is the initial portion. We have to move the slide, uh, slide this uh, value either to the left, to the right. If it is going to be at this place, up, down, right or left. So, with these movements, we have to make sure that these values end up uh, in a sequence such that it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 7, 8 at this point. So, uh, this is the uh, first example of the state representation where we would represent the all possible states in this example and here we would give the initial state, goal state, 
uh, actions and the cost. A cost typically here it is going to be 1 and if we see the state, state mathematically we can describe as uh, 3 cross 3 matrix. For example, if you, if you see the first uh, uh, figure, first here is a blank where this blank represents 0, 0 can represent a blank and in the tile if we move 1 towards the left, if we will get uh, this configuration and when we move 2 up, we will get this configuration and when we move 5 to the left, we get this configuration and when we move uh, 6 to up, we will get this configuration. And here the initial state and final state are there, the actions are going to be up, left, right and down except for the rows or columns. And uh, for the rows or columns, it is go just going to be uh, left or right. In terms of columns, it would be up or down. The second example, it is a water jug problem and uh, this uh, puzzle also you might have played when you are young, the puzzle goes like this. Assume you have two jugs that can hold 3 and 4 gallons of water respectively and neither has a measuring marker. How will you fill exactly 2 gallons of water in a 4 gallon jug? So, this is a, rep, uh, a problem given, a puzzle given where this represents 4 gallon and this is going to be 3 gallons. The idea is we have to fill in 2 gallons exactly in this 4 gallon jug and, we, and uh, remember there is no measuring marker in it. So, how, we, how do we do that? So, here again remember whenever there is a problem in AI, our job as AI engineering is to put that in the representation form and leave it uh, to the machine to solve it. But regardless, uh, this being a very simple problem, we will solve it ourselves and see how it can be done in the mathematical sense also. So, for this problem, one way of representation using states is an ordered pair where x and y, where x can be 0 to 4 because it can hold 4 gallons, either 0 gallon, 1, 2, 3 or 4 gallon, it is x and y and y is representing this 3 gallons, where it is going to be 0 gallon, or 1 or 2 or 3. Okay. Initial state, there is no water, so it is going to be 0, 0 and in the next state, final state, actually this could, this should be actually 2, 0, 4 gallon and uh, 0 is representing 3 gallons. So, exactly 2 gallons so in 4 gallon lug, it would be 2, 0 and actions are going to be either fill water or transfer water from 3 gallon to 4 gallon or 4 gallon to 3 gallon or empty that or pour, pouring emptying is pour, pouring out water from either of the two jugs. So, let us uh, uh, solve it through our head again through the mathematical sense in ordered pair. Assume that 3 gallon or 4 gallon empty, here the representation is the first one is 3 gallon and the second one is 4 gallon. So, if it is empty, it is going to be 0 and 0. The next, we are going to fill uh, 4 gallons. So, the second 4 gallon would have 4 uh, gallons of water jug and pour from 4 gallon to 3 gallon. So, the 4, uh, four gallon would have only 1 gallon water, the remaining as 3 gallons of water. Empty 3 gallons, which is 3 gallons out and four, uh, pour from 4 gallon which is from 1 gallon to the 4 uh, to 3 gallon uh, uh, jug which would be 0 and 1. So, essentially at this point 4 gallon jug would have 1 gallon of water and fill the remaining 4 gallon water. So, this would be 1 and after filling water this 4 gallon jug would have 4 gallons of water and pour from 4 gallon to 3 gallons of water. So, from this 4 gallon water, we could pour only 2 gallons of water here. So, the remaining 2 gallon water would stay back here. So, this is actually the goal. So, this is how the search would take place. 
So, this is an example of uh, water jet problem and uh, uh, the purpose that is given here is how are we representing it as states and what are the actions and which is the starting state and ending state. So, if you could uh, remember the uh, uh, starting point was 0, 0 which is the initial state, ending point is x 0, x 2 which is the final state and this is going to be the action fill, empty, fill is the actions and the cost here we are assuming as 1. The third example is the machinery and cannibal problem. Again, this is a simple puzzle which we have uh, uh, done it when you are young and the puzzle goes like this. Three machineries and three cannibals are on the left side of the river along with a boat that can hold one or two people. The boat cannot cross the river empty. Find a way to get everyone to the other side without ever leaving a group of machineries in place outnumbered by cannibals. Otherwise, it, the story goes like the cannibals would eat the missionaries. So, in this diagram you could see the three missionaries and three cannibals on one side, a boat is towards the left side and uh, the question is you have to solve such that three missionaries and three cannibals are moving to the right side with the boat towards the right such that there should not be more number of cannibals than the machinery. For example, there should not be three cannibals and two machineries else cannibals would eat the machinery. So, for a problem like this, how do we represent it in AI? It's typically say one of the representation can be something like a, a tuple with the three, uh, uh, three alphabets or variables here which could be states as the left bank the right bank and the position of the boat. The position of the boat can be either left or right. The initial state is three cannibals and three machineries on the left side of the boat. This is towards the left bank, so they are on the left side. On the right bank, no one is dead, so it is 0 and the position of the bank, it is going to be L. The final state it is 0 in the uh, left bank and all the three cannibals and three machinery should be on the right side and the boat should be on the right side. This is the final state and the actions can be either one machinery and one cannibal can go through the boat, one machinery alone can go into the boat or one cannibal or two machineries alone or two cannibals they can go on the boat and the cost is going to be 1 again in this case. So, this is an example of the state space, the entire state space of uh, not the entire state space, one part of the state space that can be represented for the missionary and cannibals problem where you could see the three cannibals and three missionary both towards the left and uh, if there is if the action is two cannibals towards this side then the two cannibals are on the right side here. If it is going to be one missionary and one cannibal then you would have one cannibal and one missionary here and two cannibals and two missionaries over the left side. And if we take this action one cannibal, one cannibal is towards the right side, the remaining on the left side. So, this is how the search proceeds and we could see that reaches the final state where three cannibals and three missionaries are towards the right side. And in example 4, last uh, in last module we saw this example of vacuum world. We will take the same example and see the rep, uh, problem representation. The states here are going to be and uh, remember this is a, a room where there are two rooms and the, in the two rooms there can either be dirt or no dirt, clean or not clean. So, we could have 8 uh, uh, different combinations whether it is A, A represents uh, one room and B represents another room. So, either A clean or B clean, A clean or B dirty, A dirty or B clean and A dirty or B dirty. So, there are 4 typical combinations available and uh, if you see the initial state it is A dirty and B dirty right here, this is the initial state. 
the final state is going to be A clean and B clean which is here. This is the final state and the actions you could see is the suck from here. If they are uh, dirty then it could suck or going right the vacuum cleaner is on the left side and if it goes to the right side it is in this state and if it is in the right state if it could go if it goes left. So, this is going to be the actions left, right, suck these three are going to be the actions and the cost for that also is 1. Now, we have seen 4 different examples for the problem representation. So, what we have seen so far is given an agent and given a starting state and ending state with a goal can be formulate into a proper uh, uh, problem representation in, and that problem representation was in terms of state space with initial state, final state, actions and cost and uh, this is a simple algorithm for some uh, problem solving agent where the input is going to be the percept, percept is the perception that it gets from the environment and it returns back an action and the persistence are the variables where we see the sequence, we have to maintain this particular action sequence, initially it is going to be empty, this sequence will be empty, but once the algorithm completes there will be a sequence of actions. At particular state there will be some uh, description on the current world state. Uh, typically you can imagine that from the simple reflex state or the model based uh, state where the model based state has some information regarding uh, the states coming from the environment and the goal initially it is null. Now, the problem start, the problem formulation is the update state whatever we have seen so far with the 4 or 5 uh, representation will encompass this condition which is the update state where it would have the initial final where the initial state goal state and the sequence action and that will be up updated as a problem formulation state. And if the sequence is empty to start with then we are going to do all this uh, formulate goal uh, with respect to the goal and the form formulate problem with respect to the problem and given these conditions. Once we have formulated the problem into the 5 categories that we have discussed so far, then our uh, approach is to find the solution. In order to find the solution, we have to do some kind of a search. So, this is the most important thing that we are going to do now. So, how to do the search so that and using that search, we are going to put that sequence of actions in the variable called seek. And if that sequence is a failure then it is nothing, it is a it is actually a null action. Otherwise, take the first action and put it across so that the agent should do that particular action and the rest of the actions will be put into the sequence of the variable as SEQ. So, this you can map it up to the uh, problem solving agent or typically uh, the goal based agent. Now, we will go through the details of the search based agent and the first search based is going to be the breadth first search, but before that we will see what search is. So, assume that this is again an example taken from Russell and Norwich and this is a map of Romania where uh, this is a particular place location called Arad and once from Arad, there are three branches that are branching to different uh, places. One is CPU, another one is it starts with T and Z. So, how the search proceeds is being uh, uh, given here. So, once we expand this condition Arad, it moves to this state, and once we expand SIB, it moves to the, this state. So, this is an informal algorithm for search and then we will move into the details of the other uh, algorithm. The typically the algorithm goes like this, it returns a solution or a failure and uh, first we will initialize the frontier, frontier are the leaf nodes and once the leaf node is node, we have to start with the 
uh, the loop, it goes repeatedly and if there is a frontier is empty, frontier is the leaf nodes choose one of the leaf node from the frontier and remove it from them and if it contains a goal state then re, uh, return to the corresponding condition otherwise expand the chosen node. Okay. So, uh, that is the informal algorithm. In the next module we will be seeing details about that uh, algorithm and before we close these are a quick few questions. One question, the first question is the problem formulation for chess, a four queen problem where you have to place four queens on a chess board such that all the four queens does not uh, interact with each other. The second uh, question is replacing a, uh, say re if you are in a district, you are in one point in your place and you have to reach to the other place, how will you represent that in terms of the state space? As a summary of this course, what we have done so far is the problem formulation in terms of the five aspects, uh, state, goal, action, cost along with the initial uh, point. And we did four different examples for the problem formulation and also uh, gave a small introduction on the search technique. In the next module, we will be doing it the search introduction in detail with uninformed search. Thank you.